Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. Kuna video niliweka asubui, mukaniambia ina audio, nikaweka private kidogo. But then, I will be working on it to see the way forward na kama tutairudia tena. But sorry for that technical hitch. But from my end, that video had an audio. I don't know why. It didn't have an audio on your side. But we will be working on it. Ladies and gentlemen, today is Wednesday. And uh, a lot has been happening in Kenya, as I was, as I've been telling you since yesterday. And uh, there's one thing I'm surprised about. <laughs> you know, there's one thing that Kenya Kwanza doesn't understand in this country. One of the things is uh, the agenda of Raila Molo Dinga is one: cripple the economy, shut down the economy. I want to give you why. Raila won today. <clears throat> Raila won yesterday on today's event. In fact, by yesterday evening, Raila had already won. In this sense, in the press briefing before the Mandamano, that Raila called on Kenyans to boycott in what we call civil disobedience. It means the people of taxi, they stop operating. Matatus stop operating. Businesses stop operating. In short, we deny the government tax. We deny the government tax. Live about the physical demonstrations, right? Live about going to the streets to demonstrate. Live about burning of tires. Live about um, barricading roads. Live about that. Winning a demonstration, number one, you must make sure that the government is not working. In that way, you cripple the government through disobedience. Disobe disobedience means the public stops heeding to the government call. That's what called. Yani, chochote kile serikali nasema watu wanasusia. Serikali kisema kwamba kesho kutakuwa na amani, fungua maduka. What wanna funga? Civil disobedience. Okay, let me put it like this so that you get it. In Amanisha, when people are disobeying the government, it's when they stop taking orders from the government. So today is can, can be interpreted in short as a civil disobedience day. Why? The government has been giving press conferences. Since last week, since last month, saying there will be no mandamano, just go on with your business as usual, right? Now today, look at the towns. For example, look at Nairobi now. It's shut. There is no school going on. There is no businesses. There are no public transport. There are no transit uh, vehicles, meaning the economy is shut. Look at Mombasa as we speak. Schools are not operating. Yesterday, the Minister of Interior, jointly with the Minister of uh, Education, they released a press statement saying, today all schools in Nairobi, Mombasa, and some towns will be closed. And yes, the schools are closed today. That is civil disobedience. So even if Raila doesn't appear today, Raila atasipo onekana kwa barabara, Raila atasipo onekana kwa street. Already, he has won the mandamano. You know, Kaka, <laughs> you know, you don't, need to, you don't need to go to the streets to make noise and tell people, you know, mimi ni naandamana. Kuandamana can be either physical or silently. Najwa mtu neza andamana silently. Yes, you stop working on andamana too. Let me give you an example of a worker. A waka mwenye anandamana, anakuja kwa ofisi vizuri, lakini hafanyi kazi, ameketi tu. That is a protest. Mimi ni maona serikali spend a lot, in fact the government spend millions of shillings. One, mwoleona ma videos inapita. Kuna video nilitumiwa kaka uh, in the morning, ambayo vijana walikuwa kwa wanja. A big field, then wamebeba guns, Alafu wanaimba. 
Mutota kiriri ya na 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 Imagine, those young people of them are paid. If you look at that video, it is thousands of young people funded with guns singing. Meaning, for them to have been that place, they are paid. That is government cash. Number two, you saw young people carrying pankas. Eh? Wakichinja kondo. Wakiongea kwa kikuyu. A kikuyu friend interpreted that to me. Wakisema, third video meant kwamba ati they will make Raila know that the king was elected by the people. And siji watawacha vichwa, siji ni jakaranda, siji ni wapi. So that's what they were talking about. Just scaring people away. Now, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, polisi amba wako Nairobi, wamepita ata population ya Nairobi ya watu. Police, magari zao zote, zimeoko mafuta. Wako tu. Now, the economy is not, hakuna ofisi, Nairobi imefungurua. Hata gashawa alikuwa hende sijui ni wapi. Sijui ni bometh. He canceled the meeting. Crippling the economy. So ladies and gentlemen, as we speak right now, Baba ameshinda tayari. Hatu hitaji kuenda kupika kelele wanjani. Hatu hitaji kuenda kubeba panga. Hatu hitaji kuenda kuimba. Civil disobedience. Boycott. Period. Eh. Maandamono isha fanyika and it's successful. So kama serekali nangoje yende kuuha watu sijui ni wapi vila likuwa na seba. Ndugu, you mutangoja sana. And I told you, Jana, Baba is a very clever mind in this sense. Raila Odinga, ata wacha tu mumobilize. Mufunga inchi vila mufunga. Sasa, kaka, mutu kifunga kwako, iko shida gani? Ruto, ameamua kufunga kwake. Ameamua kufunga Kenya. Ameamua kufunga kwake. Shida iko wapi? Amesema shule, funga. Nasikia Nairobi, wameifunga. Hakuna kutoka, hakuna kuingia. There is no problem. Ni kwaka. Funga. Hey, close it. Sisi hatuna jida. Just close it. Our main interest, na niliwambia, there is no one who is fighting with a tribe. Hakuna mtu anapigana vita na kabila. Hakuna mtu anapigana vita na wili ya muruto. Kenyans have only one enemy, the cost of living. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans are fighting the cost of living. Right now, the government has lost billions of shillings and that is exactly the real mandamano we wanted. Why that doesn't need to go to the street? Ready? It's a win. It's a plus for us. Yeah. Unajua sarakali nisema, oh, kesho nini nini. Kama walikuwa wanaume basi wangeja mashule. Kama walikuwa wanaume, why were they shutting the nation? Why were they shutting the country? Watu waonga. 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 Eh. Waonga. Kaka mimi, nitazidi kuambia izerekali ukweli na sita okopa. Wamevalia ngozi ya kondo lakini mbwa ni mbomitu. Inchi metulia ni sawa. Mapanga walikuwa wananuwa za nini. Maganzi walikuwa wanatawa siju ni Uganda. Mulisikia kuna traki ilishikuwa busia. Ni za nini. Kenya is shut. Azimu imeshinda. And we are happy about it. Yes. And mano, excellent. Hey, hey, wakenya wame andamana, kila mutu wako kwa kia nafanya babo yaki. Hakuna mutu yuko kazi. Holiday, you know today is Raila Day. I'm happy because the government acknowledged that today is Raila Day. Right? Baba mekua kesema na wapatia holiday. I'm happy kompa by yesterday, serekari likuwa isha ati amuri ya Raila Udinga ya kusema leo ni holiday. By jana shures mefungwa. Leo ni siku ya Raila Odinga, hakuna kuenda shure. Leo ni siku ya Raila Odinga, hakuna biyashara. Leo ni siku ya Raila Odinga, hakuna wafanya kazi kwa ofisi. It's a holiday and this is a historic holiday because now we'll be observing Raila Day. I think today we, we are supposed to write history uh, to say me, Kenya should be observing Raila Day. Raila natangaza maandamano inakuwa holiday, watu wanatembea. Raila natangaza maandamano inakuwa holiday, watu wanatembea, ladies and gentlemen. But then... As I always say, I want to ask Kenyans, I have been an advocate of peace. Sasa, between Azmio and Kenya Kwanza, now you know who wants to ban this country. They have been branding Raila as a father of violence. As we speak right now, you are able to see who wants to ban this country.
Yenye mnajua mmeona tu. Eh. Wale wanataka kuchoma nje umewaona. You send them. Right. That's a gentleman. Thank you. God bless you. Asanteni sana.